All right, guys, welcome back to another amazing video. In this video, we're going to conquer optimization. Yes, memory optimization, because we're building a battle royale map, and this subject comes up a lot. Peter Griffin writes, do you have any tips to save memory? So yes, here we go. What I'm going to focus on in this video is just terrain optimization. In other videos, I've talked about using props over and over again. Try to use the same trees over and over again. Really don't go more than three or four trees. Try to use the same props as in many areas as possible. But the one thing we don't really ever talk about is terrain optimization. What we're going to do is back up our islands first before we go ahead and do any edits. So make sure you back up your island before you start erasing things. So once you've gone ahead and backed up, now we can play around, right? Now we can start deleting things out and go, you know what, maybe these green rocks down here in my map that only show up right here are taking too much memory. I don't think I need that. I can use other rocks that are existing uh, on the map that don't have that green moss on them. So we can start with something like that where we take away those, those other rocks and we put in one that we've already used in the map somewhere else. And yeah, it takes away a little bit of the flare, but you're saving about 100 memory overall by not using those green rocks. Uh, maybe even 200 memory. And stuff like that's going to add up over time, I promise you guys. So go around your map, delete things that maybe you have like three of, and use something else in its place. I promise it's going to end up paying it off in the end. All right, so let's talk about actual terrain itself, right? So this is going to take time. I just did this actually for season two of my Battle Royale map um, because basically I ran out of memory and I had to get creative and figure out ways to get more memory on my map so I could expand and do more seasons. So you're going to see here what I'm doing is I'm actually deleting out walls. Now look at this. Eight memory, three memory, three memory. So those top pieces with the grass were each eight memory. The bottom ones were three memory. Right there alone, I deleted probably 100 memory. You guys can do the math for me. But I would say close to 80 or 100 memory just on deleting that wall. Now, I can delete this entire thing and replace it with one three memory piece. So we're going to delete 100 memory and replace it with three memory. Let me show you how. So what you're going to do here is just grab a single piece that has no grass on it. So we're going to go ahead and bring it down, go to width, place it as low as it will go. That's the lowest point. And then we're going to go ahead and stretch it out as far as we can. Now, in this case, that's as far as it goes. So we're going to have to patch that other part. We're going to go to height, actually, not uh, width and depth, but actually width and height. We're not going to use depth at all. So you'll see here, yeah, that grass. So they changed this in season five. They made the grass darker with the shark cliff gallery, and it really screwed things up. That's not the way I wanted it to look. And because of it, I was like, you know what? They already screwed up the terrain. It already looks weird as it is. It gave me the idea to just go, you know what? Let's just get rid of the grass on the edges and make these pieces just simpler. So instead of 100 memory on that one wall, we're going to use two three memory pieces here for a total of six memory. This is going to blow your mind. Like, look at that. Literally three memory and three memory <laughs> instead of using a hundred memory on the side there. Now, even this four, three and three. So you have, you know, 12 memory here and now we're going to replace it with one three memory and that's it. Just changing the height. So you're going to go around your map, calculating and figuring this all out. And guys, I started doing this. I did not finish it in this tutorial, but I guarantee you, depending on how big your map is, you're going to save between 3,000 to 8. I would even say 3,000 to 10,000 memory, depending on how much you do. Now, in season two of my Battle Royale map, I was able to save 12,000 memory doing this, guys. 12,000. Now, that's a lot when you're thinking about it because that gave me enough to expand and go into season two of my map. So, guys, you have to get creative. Do what I'm doing here. And with these corner pieces, you're seeing it's just a height adjustment. That's it. We're just doing height. And you're going to just place it down. 
and you're, it's just another 12 to three memory. So instead of 12, it's three for all of these smaller ones. But over time, guys, this will add up. And yeah, it doesn't look as sexy, but who cares? People are playing the map. Nobody said to me, Pete, your train looks ugly in season two. They've gone, ding, season two's pretty dope, right? Um, so they're not gonna look at these little details and I wouldn't worry or stress about it too much. So let's continue on. Now, when we get to smaller parts of the train, you know, we're doing the same thing, right? We're just shrinking things differently. But so that's a single piece right there. So we're gonna take one of the flat walls right here. And when we get to these smaller pieces, we can still reuse them. All we're gonna do is bring it up there and then resize it down. So we're just gonna take the height and bring it down to the correct level. And perfect, that's all we're doing, guys. So we're gonna repeat our process, you know, rinse and repeat and go through the entire map. Let's talk about potential roadblocks here, all right? So you can hit roadblocks, like here's where we have a biome change, right? We're going from desert into, or from, from regular forest in the desert, right? And so I have these indestructible rocks here. You cannot break these rocks. But since we're trying to build this, we're gonna have to delete these rocks, okay? And then we're gonna have to put them back. And that's gonna happen sometimes, and that's okay. So now we're gonna resize and put this piece in. And once we've resized it, it's a little too big. Um, we're gonna resize it there. And actually it looks perfect for this. But what we're gonna do now is take that indestructible rock, kind of, you know, reshape it again. We're gonna turn it around, make sure it doesn't look duplicated, make sure it doesn't look the same. And granted, yeah, is it gonna change your map? Sure, it's not gonna look identical. And that's okay, guys. Uh, my map's changed so many times and nobody's noticed. Just little terrain things. I've done this repeatedly on my map and nobody's gone, wow, Pete, your map looks so different. Nobody's gonna know. Um, so this is it, guys. We're gonna just keep going around and look at more troublesome areas for uh, optimizing memory. All right, once again, yeah, these flat edges, not the most appealing thing, but sometimes it's form over function, you know, or, or function over form, I should say, because you don't need it to look pretty. Now, this area is actually kind of awful. They changed the Shark Cliff Gallery grass in season five, and I'm actually really disappointed about it. I'm not happy at all. It looks fugly to me. And it, you know, in a way though, it was a blessing because it made me really think about memory op opti <laughs> optimization. And it made me really go, what's important on this map, you know? All right, so you're seeing here, we did that detail work on the sides. I'm gonna delete all this grass. Each of them, as you can see here, they're four and five. Four and five memory each, guys. That is a lot. Uh, you're looking at over 100 memory easy for all this grass, you know, easily over 100 total. And I can replace that with six memory easy. This is more like 120 memory, maybe 130. And we're gonna make it six memory instead. So I deleted all of that. Now we're gonna grab a, um, we're gonna grab a piece real quick from the terrain gallery. And we're gonna go to the Shark Cliff Gallery because that's what I committed to when I started these tutorials. Or use the gallery that's, you know, representative of what you chose. And yeah, it's 187. But as you do this to your whole map, guys, it will save a ton of memory, I promise. So you're not going to place it one by one like that. Though you can. You can place it one by one. But I suggest not. Instead, what I suggest doing is creating this as big and maximized as possible, at least for this area. And it's going to depend on what you're doing on your map and how big areas are. But we're gonna make this maximum length and maximum width. So depth and width. Do not mess with height, all right? I've noticed when you mess with height, you can break through the ground. It makes it destructible. I don't know why, it's weird. So that's a good little tip. So yeah, you saw me just use one piece there and I'm gonna slide over and use the other one here. And look what I just did there, guys, two pieces to cover that whole thing, sure, it's not grass, but who cares? It looks good. And we saved a ton of memory, guys, a ton of memory. Now we're gonna do the same to all of this as well, because that grass area, you could even do it to this top area right here, doing it with a smaller piece. And like I said, over time, you're gonna save space. Is it gonna annoying and is it gonna take a lot of time? Yep. But if you're moving into season two of your map or you're just going, you know what, I want to add more stuff. This is the way to accomplish that. 
What's great about the desert, it's actually probably a lot easier to just do in general because you don't have to worry about grass at the top. And actually, this is the most unnoticeable. Like, you don't see those harsh edges in desert or with snow, for instance. So desert and snow biomes are very similar because they don't have grass, right? And that's where the problem lies. The grass can get complicated. But here it's so simple, guys. You're just going to maximize uh, the width and the height and uh, you're gonna go max width, which worked out there, and oops, I confirmed a little too early, but uh, you can also just do that and replace it or cut if you want as well. And then what we're gonna do is just go to the, the right height with this, and once again, we're saving a lot of memory. You're gonna do this around the entire map, all right? Boom, looking good. Now these videos can go on and on, but I think you get the point, right? We've learned a lot about how spacing out these uh, pieces of your terrain, you're going to save a lot of memory so you can spend time on building towers, building mountains, building desert POIs, building snow biomes, right? Those are the things that are important to us. We want to be able to expand our maps. This is the perfect way to do it. Guys, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe, and I will keep creating content just like this. Thank you guys so much, and until the next video, peace. Thank you.